Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My concern is, is that what we've seen, and the Conservative Minister told us, well, there's been this great economic recession. Uh, our towns were being wiped out before the recession, and they were being wiped out because of unfair trade practices with our number one competitor. And yet this government came in, and their solution was to cripple our access to our number one market. So now they're telling us that they've got a little project here, a little project there. But if you go to talk to the workers at Tembeck, if you talk to them in Opasetica, in, uh, in Abitibi region, uh, what they're seeing is their industry has been completely wiped out. There is not an operating mill pretty much anywhere in northern Ontario other than the sm a small mill left in Elk Lake. That's an unprecedented situation. This government abandoned the forestry communities. It abandoned one of the largest industries in this country, and it signed away our access to our only market. Now the question is, we're going to have to pay another 60 or $70 million in fines on top of this, thanks to the agreement that they signed under Softwood. And that's just the beginning. This is the first stage of what will be many penalizing attempts to, to shut down our industry as we try to retool. So I'd like to ask the Honourable Member, will she stand with us and vote against this government when they